Join me in this video as I spend the afternoon at sea on hole number one of the brand new Archipelago 47 power catamaran with Stephen Weatherly, the owner of Archipelago Expedition Yachts. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you might have seen a video I made several months ago when I visited Archipelago Yachts and documented a phase of the build progress of hole number one. So it was a great joy to get aboard this impressive power catamaran despite enduring wind chills of up to minus 7 degrees Celsius as we blasted around at up to 25 knots. But my subscribers already know how passionate I am about boats such as the Archipelago 47 which are designed and built to be used all year round in all weather conditions. This is a boat that will stand out in any marina that she visits and I cannot wait to show you more of this stunning vessel. Before we check out this amazing boat, please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people will get to see it. And also, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's see how quickly we can get to 50,000 subscribers. This ocean-capable 14.5 metre expedition yacht was built to bridge the gap between performance, range and accommodation. She was designed by Hamble-based Chartwell Marine, a reputed naval architect with an industry-leading track record designing award-winning high-speed vessels. Depending on owner's configuration and needs, the 47 enjoys ocean crossing capabilities with ranges up to 3,000 nautical miles and speeds of up to 25 knots. The high wet deck height means that the Archipelago 47 can deal with ocean crossings in comfort without any slamming. When you walk around her upper deck, you really get a sense and feel of how capable this boat would be in challenging seas. I love the forward raking windows on her pilot house and as you will see in a minute when we head inside, the 360 degree views from the inside are very impressive. Her wide non-slip side decks are very easy to get around and makes operating this boat single-handedly a breeze. In fact, Stephen, the owner of Archipelago Yachts, has been taking this boat out on his own all throughout the winter season. During the warmer months, the expansive area in the vessel's cockpit is great for entertaining guests. But for boating enthusiasts like me, who love going out to sea regardless of the weather, the Archipelago 47 is the ideal companion for anyone who is adventurous enough to use her to her full potential. But for now, let us retreat from the extremely cold weather and head inside to take a look around. But not before I perch myself up forward as we accelerate up to 25 knots. Hole number one is powered by twin Iveco NEF N67 450 horsepower engines. Having felt what 25 knots in minus 2 degrees Celsius or 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit feels like, coming inside into this warm, cozy and incredibly inviting combined saloon and galley area was a welcome break. I really like the finish and design of the interior spaces aboard the Archipelago 47. The indirect lighting looks fantastic and later on in the video, I will show you what this boat looks like when she is lit up at night. 
The helm station is also incredibly well designed and, as you would expect, is kitted out with all of the latest marine technology. The L-shaped design of the helm means that everything you need is within easy reach. On the helm position, we have the throttle control levers to starboard. Next is the huge Raymarine flat screen display showing radar and chart data. Moving to ports, we have the ship's horn, the controls for the bow thruster and the digital controls for the lighting. Next, we come to the AC installation monitor, battery isolators, VHF radio and CCTV monitors for the port and starboard engine rooms. Let me know in the comments what you think of this helm station. The starboard of the helm position is an excellent space for guests and for a navigator. Above the helm position, you can see the controls for the two Iveco diesel engines, as well as lots of natural light flooding in from the big windows with their narrow stanchions. You'll also find two skylights above the helm position as well. Let's have a look inside the master cabin, which is located on the port side. Just imagine waking up in the morning next to your favorite person to this view as the sea rushes past you as you power towards your next port of call. The Archipelago 47 can sleep up to eight people in four separate cabins. The yard offers a highly flexible design service with customization as standard, as well as a selection of high quality finishes and wheelchair access as standard. And once the sun has set, you can feel the ambience of the captivating indirect lighting throughout the boat. I can't say enough how much of a privilege it is to be on board hole number one of the Archipelago 47. It was only a few months ago that we were over in the shipyard filming the build progress of this fantastic boat. And to spend the day on it today out on the water with the drone up has just been an absolute honor. Yeah, this boat is just so unique. There's so much space, it's so comfortable. There's such a homey feel about it as well. If you're interested in finding out more about this amazing boat, I'll leave a link in the video description. Click on that and you can find out as much as you need to know. But in summary, I just wanna say this boat is amazing. And if you're looking for something that you can take out on the weekend and dart around, but also go on extended long distance voyages aboard, this boat should be at the top of your priorities when it comes to considering what boat to buy. But what about price? Well, as stated in the video title, this boat, hole number one, is currently for sale. And being an ex-demonstrator, she is currently priced at £900,000, which, as of the 16th of December 2022, is around 1.1 million US dollars, or around 1.03 million euros.
Hole number two and future holes of the Archipelago 47 will be priced at 1.2 million pounds, which is around 1.46 million US dollars or 1.37 million euros. But if you cannot wait to go exploring, the boat featured in this video, hole number one, is ready for her new owner. And if you have got an adventurous spirit which is keen to explore all year round, then the Archipelago 47 is ready to take you wherever it is you want to go. And with a top speed of 25 knots, a range of 3,000 nautical miles, and the prospect of having a variety of different propulsion choices, including hybrid and electric depending on requirements, as well as having a highly flexible design service with customization as standard, Archipelago Expedition Yachts is a worthy port of call. Over the last few years, it has been great to see a rise in the popularity of long-range explorer and expedition yachts. And if you're looking for something different, something that really does stand out in the marina, then this capable power catamaran really does fit the bill. Her imposing stature turns heads wherever she goes. And of course, it's easy to see why. It was such a joy to be able to spend the day with Stephen, the founder of Archipelago Yachts, as we took hole number one out and put her through her paces. If you are interested in finding out more about this exciting new boat builder, then I will, of course, leave a link to their website in the video description. Archipelago have got some very exciting plans for the future, including the luxurious and roomy Archipelago 56, and the practical yet equally as capable Archipelago 38. And if you're interested in watching the full yacht tour video that I made about the Archipelago 47 at the Southampton Boat Show, I'll leave a link to that video also in the video description. And remember, if you have got access to a boat that you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, then feel free to get in contact with me. I'll leave the links in the video description. As always, I'd like to say a massive thank you to those of you who have become channel members of my YouTube channel. Think of YouTube channel membership as their version of Patreon. And if you do become a member, not only does it really help the channel out, but you'll also get access to exclusive content. I'd like to say a big hello and thank you to Carolyn Burridge, who has become my latest channel member. If you're interested in finding out more, I'll leave a link in the video description, or you can click on the join button that appears underneath this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so now. And also, don't forget to give the video a like as more people on YouTube will get to see it. I've got some interesting things coming up next week, the week before Christmas. I'll be sharing some details with my channel members. But until next time, fair winds and following seas.